the Americans are descendants of the British and yet they fought against them for independence. Please explain. So the, these people have no allegiance to anybody. The conquest of America was all for, for money. It was for greed. Uh, this nation, the United States, was built on the genocide of one people, the Native Americans. At least 100 million must have died. And it was also built on the slavery of another people, the African origin people, the black people. So it was a land of immense profits, immense territories just to be stolen away from the natives and use the blacks to do any labor you want, give them one or two meals a day and you're done. So it was a land of immense profits for, the, for these British who went there. And soon they became very rich and very powerful. But the problem was that they owed their allegiance to the British crown. They had to send back all the profits, most of the, much of the profits to the British crown in the form of enormously heavy taxes. And they resented that very much. They said, we are so many thousands of miles away from England. Why should the crown of England have any sway over us? And that's why they fought for independence. It was the independence. They fought for the independence of a small group of white men and their families. The independence did not apply to the Native Americans or to the uh, black slaves. And uh, the voting rights, all the franchise was with the white, white men only. Right? So that's the war for independence. It is portrayed as this great heroic struggle for justice and equality and freedom. That's absolute nonsense. Uh, land of the free, home of the brave. That's how we. It's it, America is portrayed. You should see the Declaration of, of Independence in which the kind of language that, that is used for the Native Americans, it is still there, right? The Declaration of Independence. So it was a very unequal, brutal, racist endeavor. And that was the independence they fought for. It was independence to make unlimited profits and pay no taxes to the crown of England. So that is the reason they fought. They fought to start a new empire in the north, northern part, in the northern half of the Americas. That's what it was. And eventually, the best minds, the most adventurous people, the, the piratical minded people, etc., they all made their way from England into the Americas. So essentially, over time, as the British Empire declined, the American Empire uh, correspondingly rose. So America is, in a way, it is, in a way, the reincarnation or the continuation of the British Empire. It's, it's the same culture, the same people, and the same mindset, the same worldview, and the same method methodology. So America is essentially a continuation of the British Empire. The empire died in that small island, but it continued in the form of the American Empire, which, which was the major hegemonic power of the 20th century. It still is to some extent, but it's declining.